I'm Max Weinbalk with XDA TV, and today I'm going to show you how to play any PC game on your Android smartphone using Parsec. Let's get started. Parsec is a game streaming service that uses either your computer or a cloud PC that you can rent out to be able to play pretty much any game that runs on Windows. Uh, if you have your own PC, it'll use that as a host and then you just sign into your account and you know uh, on your computer and phone and play it supports controllers over bluetooth or otg so i'm going to show you how to install that on your computer set it up on your phone and computer and then play uh, i will i'm going to test it with PUBG and fortnite and maybe doom but you can play pretty much any game with it and it works really well it's very very low latency it is better than Steam in home streaming by far, and it works anywhere as long as you have an internet connection, which is better than most other services. You're gonna wanna go to the Parsec website. I'm gonna put a link in the description uh, so you can go download it yourself. On the front page, you're just gonna wanna click Download for Windows, and it's gonna start the download of the Parsec installer. It should install relatively quickly depending on your hardware, my hardware is pretty good, so it'll install quickly. When you see this Parsec setup, would you like to enable controller support? You're going to want to click yes. Always click yes on that. If you don't have an account, you're going to want to click sign up at the bottom and make an account. Since I already have one, I'm just going to sign into mine. Now it's going to come up with this page saying launch and install daemon. You're going to want to click finish. So right now I don't have any computers. That includes my own. If I want to rent a computer, a cloud one, I can rent a cloud computer from Parsec. I just choose whether I want to use Amazon Web Services or Paperspace, the specs I want for it, and then the location. I'm just going to, and I'm going to use my own PC as the host. I'm going to click the settings, go over to hosting, and where it says hosting disable, you're going to want to enable hosting. Uh, these custom settings here were already enabled, so I'm just going to use what's default. So it's good to go. Now I'm going to show you what to do on your phone. Parsec does have this cool feature, though, where if you want to let your friend borrow your computer for a gaming session, you can send them a link so that they can play on your computer through Parsec. Setting up Parsec on your phone is very simple. You're just going to want to go to the Google Play Store and search for Parsec. Next, you're just going to want to install the app. You're going to want to sign into the account you just made. As you can see, the computer that we just set up is showing right here, my desktop right here. All you have to do to start is hit play. Now, Parsec does support Bluetooth controllers, but since I don't have one, I'm going to use this Xbox 360 controller with a USB OTG cable. It is a good idea to plug it in first, uh, to plug your controller in before you start Parsec, because Parsec will need access to the controller. So when you see this pop up, just hit OK. Now, because I didn't connect it first, I'm going to have to close the app and relaunch it. Then hit play again. Now, this is a remote feed from my desktop computer off to the side. So let's say I want to play a bit of Fortnite first. Parsec still has touchscreen so I can use that to launch the game. Once the game launches, which will take a second because my uh, hard drive is a little bit slow, once the game launches, it will automatically have the controller set up because I have it connected over OTG, and it'll be super easy. So as you can see, this is Fortnite launching right now. And I'm able to play. The audio does come through the, uh, the phone, too, instead of going through the computer. So here, you can see I'm controlling it with this controller plugged into my phone. So let's go to Fortnite Battle Royale. And let's switch over to the playground. Then play.
Yep. As you can see, I'm playing on my phone via my PC. So this is better specs. This is even playing at 60 frames per second on my phone, even though you're not able to see it. I'm not really a uh, controller player, so, you know, I'm not that great with it, but you're still able to play it how you normally would on a computer at the full resolution of a computer and full frame rate of a computer max out at 60 frames per second. Sorry, Razer phone users. So you're able to play. This is much better performance than you would get out of Fortnite Mobile itself because this is playing on my PC with actual gaming hardware. So I can land at this house, I can grab weapons. I can play as I normally would. And I'm at this and it's just like playing on a computer, just using your phone. This does work anywhere, so you do not need to worry about yeah. You don't need to worry about having access to your local network. You can play this anywhere in the world. Both Fortnite and PUBG do have their own respective mobile apps, so you can play on those, but the PC experience is a lot better, even though you're using a controller. So the PUBG start menu doesn't have controller support, so you just have to tap start. Once you do this, it'll load you into a game and the controller will start working. The PUBG and Fortnite mobile apps do not have as great of graphics and their frame rates are limited to 30 frames per second by default, though there are mods to allow it to go up to 60. Now you can see here, I'm into the lobby. And you can play a bit of PUBG. Get that uh, chicken dinner. Now you can see I'm playing a game like Doom. Since Doom is, does have a lot more graphics, it will take a, sec a second and there will be a little bit of latency compared to other games like Fortnite or PUBG because those games just don't use as much. The latency for Doom, I would say, is to an unplayable amount. As you can see, there is a bit of lag. It is not perfect by any means. See, it's a little bit better now, but it is still pretty much unplayable by most people's perspective. Yeah. I would not say this is totally perfectly playable, but it is enough to get the Doom experience. So as I just showed you, it's super easy to set up game streaming using a software like Parsec. All you have to do is sign into your account, sign in on your phone, and then connect a controller using either Bluetooth or USB. I decided to use USB OTG since I don't have a Bluetooth controller on hand but Bluetooth controllers should work perfectly. It does also support mouse and keyboard, I believe. So if you have a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, you can connect to that and set it up like that. I was able to connect it to Samsung DeX on my Note 9 and play Fortnite using a mouse and keyboard and DeX, but it was kind of glitchy because the mouse was just emulating a touchscreen. It's up, you can try it yourself to see how it works, but I think a controller is probably the best experience for Parsec. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think of Parsec in the comments below and if you're going to try it out.